India and the Maldives are going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and the row appears unlikely to end soon. It started when three Maldivian ministers responded to a video on X of Modi promoting the Indian islands of Lakshwadeep, north of the Maldives, for tourism. The officials called Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi a clown, terrorist, and puppet of Israel on social media in reference to India's support of Israel in the Gaza war. Their comments sparked a call for Indian tourists to boycott the Maldives on social media. How has the island nation responded? The new Maldives president, Mohammed Muizu, he was elected in November, and he had campaigned primarily on uh, the premise that uh, India sh uh, that India should remove its troops from Maldives, and he uh, had uh, campaigned. He had uh, sparked an India out campaign, basically saying that uh, India should reduce its presence in Maldives. We may be small, but that doesn't give you the license to bully us. The demand to remove around 80 Indian soldiers by March 15, 2024, came after a visit by President Moizu to China, sharpening a rivalry between New Delhi and Beijing for influence over the Maldives. Maldives and India usually have had a very close relationship. Usually, every time a new Maldives president has been elected, uh, usually they have chosen India as their first port of call. Now, Muizu has differed from his predecessors and his first port of call has been China. And immediately after he returned from China, he reiterated his call for India to remove its troops from the island. The Maldives has traditionally been an ally of India, given its proximity. But the nation's leadership has drifted towards Beijing over the last decade. Why? Firstly, two things. Um, since the Maldivian president campaigned on uh, the basis that he, want, he wanted India's presence to be reduced from the island, um, so where does he turn? I mean, China is the next big neighbor. And uh, where does he look for investments? So if he doesn't look towards India, then China is the next logical destination. Um, secondly, uh, I think there is uh, suspicion amongst the new party that India has been trying to establish a military base in Maldives. And uh, so he is probably trying to counter that by uh, seeking more help from China. What does China stand to gain out of the relationship? The Maldives may be a small nation, but uh, it, it has around 1,000 islands. It's on a very strategic route on the Indian Ocean. Uh, that route is arterial for uh, shipment of number of goods. And uh, between India and China, the, the country which uh, can exert more influence uh, on that route has a strategic advantage. What does India lose out on if the Maldives fully aligns itself with China? India has been trying to, uh, has also been trying to set up a remote sensing station in one of the Maldives islands. So ever since the controversy and ever since the India Out campaign, I think India will probably not be able to set up a remote uh, base for uh, establishing uh, sensors. So that will be a setback for its uh, military. The Maldives, meanwhile, would suffer a setback in its tourism economy, which relies on Indian expatriates to run much of the industry. Besides that, Indians make up around 11% of foreign tourists in the Maldives. Is there hope for a resolution? The latest what has happened is that uh, Indian Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar has met his Maldivian counterpart in Kampala. Um, and this was at, on the sidelines of a non-aligned movement meet, uh, where the two seem to have uh, kind of agreed to uh, settle their differences. It seems like they want to kind of um, uh, s slowly try to resolve all the uh, issues which have crept up. And uh, seems like they want to kind of uh, 
tone down all the controversy which is happening.